A profile rib is a special kind of protrusion that's used to add structural integrity to a model. To create a profile rib, you go to the rib dropdown and choose profile rib. And from the dashboard, we can see that the references tab wants me to pick my sketch. And I can select an existing sketch or I can define one inside of the feature. And I'm going to sketch on the datum plane called DTM1 and it's suggesting a viewing direction. I don't like that viewing direction. And it's also suggesting for my orientation reference, the datum plane called top to face the left side of the screen. I suggest that you only use something as an orientation reference that you intend to use as a sketch reference. And so I'm going to pick the top surface of the model to face the top of the computer screen. Now I will click the sketch button to go into sketch mode. And if I go to my sketch references, I see that Creo Parametric is suggesting the default coordinate system as a reference. I don't want to use that, so I'm going to delete it. And one of the rules for a profile rib is that it has to start and end on part geometry and that it has to be a, an open sketch. And so I'm going to pick the silhouette edge of this part over here. And that's the intersection of the cylinder with my sketching plane. Even though there isn't an edge there, Creo Parametric allows me to use it for sketching. So I'll click the solve button. Let's close out of here. And I'm just going to sketch a single line. Again, I'm starting and ending on part geometry. Let's make sure I have the dimensioning scheme that I want. Let's go and make this a 45 degree angle. And let's control this length dimension. Let's give it a value of one. And so now that I am done sketching, I can use my right mouse button to exit out of sketch mode. And right now it's previewing that it wants to add material out into empty space. So I'm just going to flip the arrow so it's adding material towards my model. And by default, the material thickness is symmetric about my sketch plane. I can grab my drag handles and drag it out to some value that I want. And if you use the flip button on the dashboard, this is where you can toggle the depth from one side to another. That depth is way too big. What I like is that if the preview goes away, you know that your value is too big. And when you have a value, or when you have a preview, you know that your values are good. And so this is toggling between one side symmetric and the other side of the sketch plane. But again, I want it to be symmetric. And I'm going to use a really big value in this case. Let me see if I can get a value of one. The only reason I'm using such a huge value is I want to show you the difference between a profile rib and if you had created this as an extrude. And the one really big difference between an extrude and the profile rib is this surface right there. You'll notice that that surface is rounded. So the profile rib sort of takes on the shape of the geometry that it is attached to. If I'd create this as an extrude, that would be a flat surface, but this one is rounded because it is a profile rib and it is attached to a cylinder. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.